In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a one-way between groups ANOVA in SPSS. Now, I have a previous video on this topic that I don't particularly like, uh, so I thought I'd redo it. And one of the main reasons is that there is a different approach to testing the hypothesis that three means uh, are equal versus testing the hypothesis that four or more means are equal. And there's also a difference as to whether you satisfy the assumption of homogeneity of variance versus not. And that was failed to be distinguished in the previous video. In this series, I'm going to demonstrate uh, the case where there's homogeneity of variance is, a, is satisfied. So it's a simpler case. I'm going to make a separate video for when it's not satisfied because you have to do very different tests in that case. Now, in the first instance, I'm going to look at the difference between three means because it's the simplest case. And this, in, in this fictitious example, uh, teachers were selected within a school district and they were divided across three groups based on their expectations of the performance of the children that they're teaching. And so there was a low expectation teacher group and they're labeled all ones. And then there's a average expectation group, and they're labeled all twos. There's 25 of them. And then there were uh, stu uh, teachers labeled as high expectations from the students. And the students were all rated on their own student achievement confidence. And the hypothesis was the teacher's expectations of the students actually has an influence on how the students feel about themselves and how they are going to perform in the unit. And let's just say that these scores were taken uh, well into the semester so that the students have had enough exposure to the teachers to get some influence by them. And so the hypo null hypothesis is that the means are equal and the alternative hypothesis is that the means will not be equal. And of course, you might be thinking, well, maybe the low expectation teacher group will have a negative impact on student confidence. So let's test that hypothesis. And there's two ways of doing ANOVA between groups ANOVA in SPSS. And one way gives you A to squared and the other one doesn't. But I'll do the, the basic one first, which doesn't give you A to squared. If you go into compare means one way ANOVA, you get another window and you put your dependent variable in the dependent list and in this case student achievement confidence and then teacher group those students taught by teachers based on various expectations now you're also going to have to click on options because you want descriptive statistics and you also want to plot your means and you want homogeneity of variance test and click on OK now post hoc uh, we're going to need this in the event that the one-way ANOVA is found to be statistically significant. That is, the F value with the ANOVA is significant. And when you have three groups, you should probably always use Fisher's LST, despite the fact that it's very frequently criticized. In this one case where you have three groups, it's actually very powerful and very useful. And I have another video on that if you need references to support yourself using Fisher's LST when you have three groups. You definitely should consider using that. So click on OK, rather than two key. Two key is too powerful. Uh, too conservative, rather. And then click on OK. And here we get the descriptive statistics in the first table. And we have the student confidence levels. And we have low expectations here. Low expectation teachers have students th with low confidence of 11.58. And let's just say these students were randomly assigned to the to the teachers. So they were they had equal means to begin with, and now it looks like numerically they've got different means. So average expectations, 13.53, high expectations, 14.1. And we got the standard deviations here. Now here's the test of homogeneity of variances. This is Levine statistic, it's an F value, 0.643, with degrees of freedom of 2 and 72 and it's not statistically significant. And we don't want this to be statistically significant. Now, it's true that ANOVA is robust to a fairly substantial degree to this violation, but there are limits to that. Uh, and in this case, we don't have to worry about it. The variances are equal. 
unfortunately SPSS doesn't give you the variances uh, 